Hello fellow collectors and uh, today we're going to be going through another one of my basketball binders. This is uh, the end of the alphabet here. Um, this will have more modern stars um, but there will be a few a little flashback to the 90s players in here. So uh, let's take a look and see what I have inside this basketball binder. So in the last video, I showed you uh, this album here, which was R.I. through T.H. So this was mostly David Robinson and Isaiah Thomas and John Stockton were the big um, Dennis Rodman, if I didn't mention him, mostly the ones in here. So I got um, all the uh, old pages taken out, got a lot of cards um, taken out too that I'm going to be repacking and um, trying to sell out my neighborhood yard sale. And I'll put that video up here. And uh, yeah, so, and I was able to thin down a lot of the pages, so um, I'll have room for this next album to combine the two albums, and that's another reason why I'm going through these old albums, um, just to kind of pare down the collection and kind of combine some of the albums. So let's get to this uh, new album to show you, this new binder. So the album, or the album itself is real nice, so a real nice binder here, basketball binder. And we're starting off with little Clay Thompson, um, you know, by the time I got back in, it was, it was past his rookie year, so I really don't have a whole lot of clay uh, rookies. Now, what's interesting is I've decided to start putting the 1988 and 89 Fleer set back together, so these two will definitely help me out with that. Old Otis Thorpe. I love those Kings jerseys, by the way. Wayman Tisdale, he was a big-time scorer. So then we got some Cat Carl Anthony Towns. The original Gary Trent, his son now plays for Portland. Haha, <laughs> Keith Van Horn. I'll definitely will be pulling these cards out. I'll probably put these in some of those repack, um, little repackages I'm doing. Dwayne Wade, nothing, nothing too great. Um, but like I said, by the time I got back into the hobby, uh, he was already probably almost getting past his prime, so um, nothing too great with his cards there. Maybe I'll sell a few of these. Some Kimba, big Hornets fan. I live in the Charlotte area, and uh, yeah, so I was a big, big, big Kimba Walker fan. Got a few of his, few of his rookies, a few of his rookies there. Maybe I'll sell one or two of those since he's playing for the old Celtics. Charlie Ward, love him as the Knicks. John Wall, um, God, you, I mean, really good player. The injuries have just really derailed his career a little bit, but it's good to see him playing well for Houston this year. Nothing, nothing great. Bunch of lower end John Wall cards there. Ah, uh, Ben Wallace. I bet I could probably sell those on Com C. Oh, Rashid. Definitely will move these over to my Carolina. Uh, PC collection. Got some good ones of him in his Carolina jersey there. That's a real nice one. Very good. Very underrated player from the... That's a great picture or great card of Rasheed Wallace is there. I like this Carolina card too. And what do we got? Oh, <laughs> Bill Walton. Now Spud Webb, another, another addition to the 88-89 Fleer set I'm putting together. So that's a good find there. Nothing good of old Bill Walton. And then Chris Webber, C Web. I've, I've mentioned this before many times um, in past videos. I was a big uh, Fab Five fan. The book by Mitch Album is really good if you're ever looking for a good sports book to read. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any of the Tops rookie. His Tops rookie is starting to go up in price there a little bit. So if you're looking for some good cards, a decent price to pick up. Some more C Webb. I'll probably pull a lot of these out. Jerry West. I mean, I would love to have some of his older stuff. That's a little bit out of my price range. And then old Russell Westbrook. Nothing, nothing too great of his. I think that's what maybe his second or third year card. Seems that seems like in the hobby, there's not a whole lot of Russell Westbrook love in the hobby, at least from things I see online. Yeah, a lot of a lot of most of these Westbrooks you see, I got in the Craigslist um, lot I bought a while back. 
And then, oh, Andrew Wiggins. So right when I got back into the hobby, I think it was uh, Andrew Wiggins' draft year. And so, obviously, his number one pick just hasn't panned out for him. I'll get probably pull all those. Oh, Jason Williams. But I think that's yeah, top stroke yet, but that's probably worth a few bucks. Roy Williams, move that over to the PC side. My Tar Heel PC collection. Then Big Game James. I'm also putting together the 89 90 Fleer set. So that'll be a good addition for there. Some more Carolina cards put in the PC collection. They'll probably get probably sell. Put a lot of these in the repacks to his. I mean, his cards aren't worth hardly anything, so, but they're cool cards to get if you're reopening stuff. Some more cool Carolina cards of his. I love this upper deck set, too. Some more big game James. I love how the Fleer cards are real nice. I've mentioned this many times, but I'm a huge Fleer Flare fan. And then, I, I can't remember when I got these. These are like 72, 73 Topps cards. They're, and none of the individual players, they're all from like the championship series, but still really cool. I'll have to take a look to see if these are worth much of anything at all. And then, oh, I got one of these little pivot things from one of the little Carolina sets. So yeah, hopefully I'll get rid of a few of these cards, sell a few of these cards, change out some of the pages. I think most of the pages in here are pretty good, looks like. And then I'll combine this album with my other album. And then we'll move on to the next album. So hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, YouTube, be good. Go Clay.